follow me. Don't be more rude. Uh, why would you listen to him? Like, if you already knew that he was parasite, wasn't your wasn't your command wasn't the command to shoot on sight for anyone that was suspicious? Why would you follow him? Just like shoot him right there. Like, granted, you might have still died, but still, like, you you would have done something. Like, he might have took more damage than he did, but or, like later on. Anyway, what is the latest gents Nate here bringing you my review for Parasite the Maxim episode 20 known as Crime and Punishment alluding to what happened in this episode because there is a lot of uh, bang 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 bang. So essentially in this episode Shinichi takes a back seat uh, and pretty much we see like the the SWAT teams like and how they deal how, and how they're going to deal with the Parasites because last week we left off on a cliffhanger showing uh, the girl with no head, because she's obviously a parasite, and so they, like, they block her, and make sure that no civilian will get in the way, and they shoot her in the chest, and she tries to, re she retaliates a little bit, but then she ultimately dies. Now, the thing is, if you don't remember, the, like, the entire human body, like, from the head down, is a parasite's weakness, because, remember, they took over the brain, and that's the only thing they really need, and that's where they form their things, and whatnot, so, like, the human body down, it's, it's, Anyway, the parasites catch on to what the SWAT team is doing. So essentially, they kind of mess up their plan. And they, like, like when they're going in front of the x-ray, they're all, like, lining up, like, horizontally. And so, it, like, they can't really tell each other apart. And for some reason, like, like one of, like, one of the, the SWAT members asks somebody to stop and to do and make a single file line. But then... Like, one of them decides to run, and he's human, right? And, like, why would you decide to run? You All you have to do is listen to police, and then you're fine. But then, like, he decides to run, and, like, all the parasites... And then, like... And then, essentially, like, all the parasites try to attack, but then they get shot down before doing so. And then there's another instance where the, the commander of the SWAT team, he tells everyone that's human to get down on the ground, put their heads behind their back, or put their hands behind their heads, and essentially everyone does so right but then the stupid guy literally he gets him it's like who are you to tell me that i'm supposed to and then he gets shot because like the command prior to that is like if you get out for no reason without us telling you so you're gonna get shot and he and then the guy gets shot and then everyone's scared so yeah but i like how they specifically said in this episode because like it would have been confusing if they didn't is that the, the goal of the SWAT team is to eliminate the parasites and not protect the civilians. If the civilians die, oh well, their sacrifice will be honored that because they're getting rid of the parasites. Anyway, there's just another instance where the mayor and some of the other parasites literally just walk off and like the SWAT team don't do anything about it because like they're not sure if they should shoot or not. And I get that, but the thing is they just walk off. They don't even try to stop them. They don't have a person following them. They they just let them like walk off perfectly fine and then ensues the like rest of the episode. So essentially the rest of the episode is just seeing the commander, some other troops and the murderer to like just seeing them get rid of parasites, seeing if people are parasites or not because there was like there's this couple banging in like a closet and the luckily the serial killer was there to say no, they're both humans, but they're both stupid. So yeah, if I wasn't here, they would be full of bullets right now. Anyway, there's this little moment, like I did in my beginning skit, like where Guto, the big guy, remember? The one that uh, Tam Tamora said that he's pretty much invincible. That he that we see him, and he tells the officers to follow him. Like I said, I don't know why they did that. They should have just shot him on sight. But then, it, like, it, they would have died either way, I feel like. Anyway, so he essentially brings them to a room, and you see him... Just like they, they unleash like so many bullets of AA twelve, like so many AA twelve shells into him, and he's perfectly okay. And then he like filters them out through his body and just like fires them back, and essentially just kills like the five men that were there. And the episode ends on another cliffhanger with some of the troops meet reaching the mayor in his like office thing. So my grade for the episode, I'm gonna give it an A. Like the soundtrack that was playing during like a good majority of the episode, with that like light dubstep. If dubs up can be light, like just sitting in the background, then we got all the action scenes. Then we see like uh the commander take charge and like how he sees how he differentiates from humans and parasite and he does he he just shoots whatever is suspicious looking and does and makes sure that they stay dead. So my question to you guys is how do you think Guto is going to die? As we see a lot of 
shotgun shells to the face didn't really do much. But remember, Miki said something very important last episode that flamethrowers, it doesn't necessarily kill the parasites, but it does startle them. So yeah, let me know what you guys think on how Guto is going to die down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my review. But don't forget to leave a like if you think the video deserves it. Subscribe to my channel if I entertained your face for a little bit. And I'll see you guys all later tonight for Arrow. So until then, bye.